1988, one of the most successful aircraft designs ever produced celebrated its 50th anniversary. This design was known under many names throughout the world, but to Canadians, it's known as the Harbour. The Harvard is one of the most proven aircraft ever built. Built to stand the rigors and punishment of training pilots, the airframe dependability and serviceability of the Pratt & Whitney engine have allowed many of these aircraft to continue flying despite their age. The R for round 1340 being cubic inches, AN being Army Navy 1 nine-cylinder supercharged engine develops 600 horsepower and burns up to 56 gallons of fuel an hour. Leaned and at cruise speed of 150 miles per hour, the consumption is around 23 gallons an hour. The aircraft has a 42-foot wingspan, its gross weight is 5,700 pounds, and the never exceed speed is 262 miles per hour. The 9-foot Hamilton Standard constant speed prop on the Harvard produces a very distinctive Harvard sound when its tips approach the speed of sound while operating in fine pitch and high manifold pressure power settings. A used propeller for a Harvard today can fetch $7,000. That is if you can find them. The original production cost of a wartime Harvard was about $70,000. That's a price very close to the value of a Harvard today. On December 17th of 1937, Canada and Prime Minister Mackenzie King, the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand signed an agreement that would allow Commonwealth airmen to be trained in an area remote from the actual battle zone of World War II. For 59 months starting in May of 1940 and continuing until March of 1945, men and women from all around the world came to Canada be trained under the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan. The plan produced 360 schools at 231 sites all across Canada. In all, 131,553 service personnel graduated from the plan, an average of 2,230 per month being distributed and dispatched to eight different air crew categories. A total of 49,808 pilots graduated after training on de Havilland Tiger Moths, Fleet 16Bs, Finches, Fawns, and Forts, twin-engine Ansons, and of course, the North American-designed Harvard and Yale. The Harvard was the advanced trainer used in the plan to bring pilots to proficiency and competency before sending them off to fighter operational training units and then overseas. It is as a tribute to the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan and to the men and women from all over the world who served in the armed forces that the Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association was formed. Few of the guys talked about it for quite some time, but it wasn't until the spring of 1985 that it came into being. CHA is a non-profit organization founded to acquire, preserve, restore, maintain, display, and demonstrate Harvard aircraft and other aircraft associated with the Commonwealth Air Training Plan. CHA is a registered Canadian corporation having charitable status and is now actively seeking members who are interested in pursuing the aims and objectives at the same time enjoying the fellowship of others with the same interest. Harvard saw 25 years of service from 1939 until their retirement by the Royal Canadian Air Force in 1965. A total of 2,258 Harvard served as trainers in Canada, yet only a few remain in flying condition, while many have been sold to foreign interests. How can you help Chaw? There are a number of ways, simply through membership, which can inspire others to join in, through financial support of specific aircraft or other projects, capital cost projects, or new acquisitions, through donations of artifacts from the past, pictures and aircraft logs and manuals. Perhaps just by providing the opportunity to tell our story to your club or organization so the word of the Canadian Harvard Aircraft Association is spread. Thank you for your support of CHA. It'll help keep them flying.